Hey everybody, back for another video, and I wanted to uh, show you a video that I took on my iView glasses. Um, these are pretty pretty slick globe glasses. Uh, get you right in there uh, when you're doing a service call. So I'm going to do as many videos with these as I can. I've already done a few, but uh, uh, light was a little dark in this particular video, so it's not the greatest quality as far as light's concerned. But uh, we're going to change out a blower motor and a blower wheel. And uh, so, yeah, let's get right into it. So um, also, uh, stay to the end. I'll show you uh, a place that you can get uh, some specialized tools that I used in this, uh, in this job. Uh, also, uh, uh, some links that you can uh, pick up a set of glasses like this. And again, some of the tools I use. So uh, stay to the end, and I'll show you where to get those. Here's the problem on this one. That set screw wasn't tightened down at the factory and it spun on itself and traveled and now it's scraping on the other side. So <clears throat> we're going to use the old hub and fan blade puller MAFB2 by MA Line Odyssey Monty and Associates. This puller also comes with some clips that will reach down and grab a hold of, say, a, a pulley. So we're going to take that set screw out. And while we're working on this, I'm going to show you what it, uh, what you do while you're on the job. Is you take a look around and you see what else can be done or fixed or find some deficiencies. And I see some water dripping right there. <coughs> so I have to get over there and see what that's all about when I'm done with this. <clears throat> All right. So now, now what we're going to do is we're going to turn these in equal turns. Try to get them all started so we're equal all the way around. Tighten all these set screws down. I'm going to these down pretty good, 
So get a real good bite on that hub. go get other tools I'll be right back hour of video I'm back about 15 20 minutes later I had a phone call so we're going to hold the puller still while we turn the shaft of the that'll screw down push on the shaft of the motor and turn lift up on the socket obviously would be a little better than this but all right you can tell this is getting closer we're getting there all right so I'll come back after I get this close to coming off out there so let's roll this over and get the motor disconnected Look, there it is I'll tell you this is one of the nicest screwdrivers you can get a Klein it has the nut driver there most nut drivers like this multi screwdrivers have a quarter and five six yeah, a quarter and five sixteenths. This one has the three eighths. Along with a square bit and a Schrader bit. By the way, this video is brought to you by iView. No, not really. 
not uh, as an ad sense, but a uh, brought to you, filmed by iView. Okay, so the next step in getting this blower wheel out of here is taking this baffle shield off. Take our puller off of here. So when you're putting one of these back together, look at the way these are they're shaped like this. Actually, like this. Okay, and this is the direction that that turns. It throws the air. So this goes in like this. Careful, because the edges are sharp. Put our baffle plate back in. I guess it's not a baffle as more as it is a shield here. I've got the set screw pointing away from me. So when I install the motor, I want that to be pointing away from me. Set your wires so that they go this direction so they're closer to the board. Set your shaft right and put it together. Put it all back together.
I will side note real quick about motors is that this one has the feet spot welded right to the frame. In a lot of cases there's what's called a belly band that you have to assemble. Might have three legs or might have four legs that you'll have to put uh, together to get all this to work together. So now that the motor is installed, we are going to slide this blower wheel to the center. And you'll want to check if there's any inplay in the motor, meaning pull the shaft in and out. If there is, make sure that it doesn't travel and cause your blower wheel to uh, scrape the sides. So we're going to leave the motor shaft in the horizontal position. Put that straight up. Double check our blower wheel before we put it together. And reef it down. And this is where the factory failed to do their job properly because it loosened up. I think that's all they did right there. That, but you snug it and then you give it another quarter or half turn and make sure she's tight and that's it put it all back together oh. So that's it. We just changed the blower motor. All right, I'm going to end this video. I'm going to start another video, and we are going to go over the aspects of this board. Okay, well, hopefully you found that video um, uh, useful. Um, back to what I was going to tell you. Um, the iView glasses are um, a 720. Uh, P, they do good. Um, they got a couple different lenses with them. They got multiple different lenses you can get for them. There's a link in the description below uh, where you can pick up a set of these glasses. Also, the pulley puller, uh, again, there's a link in the description below. I've sought out the best price possible, and uh, you can also find a link for the, for the puller. And the Klein tool, everything's down below, so check it out. And we'll uh, see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, rate, and uh, leave me a comment. Talk to you later. See you in the next video. Thanks a lot.